now let's go through some basic navigation on car so that you're a little more familiar with your tool. I plugged my VCI into the car. Let's go ahead and turn on the key. And the tool's ready to go to work. What we should see is the red X on the bottom of the screen go from red to green. If not, go ahead and touch on the red X. We just received a warning screen that we need to update the software in the VCI. We need to connect the VCI USB cable that came with the kit to the Evolve and VCI and do an update. Let's go ahead and unplug this from the vehicle and use the power cord for the Evolve and power up the VCI. The USB cable that came with your Evolve has a special end just for the Evolve. Now select Update. Your VCI and the Evolve are both updated and the softwares match. Let's go to the car and do some basic tool navigation. We have to wait for the red X to turn green, which means our Evolve is communicating to the VCI. It's easy to navigate the tool, select vehicle. On this screen, we have four ways we can communicate to a vehicle. By vehicle VIN number, year, make, and model, auto ID, or global OBD2. For this video, I want to show you how to set up a vehicle manually. Select Enter New Vehicle. Select the year, the make, the model, body style, we have all the modules available at this point that we can communicate with. So let's select engine. One of my favorite things to do with this tool is the automated systems test. With this certain make and model of vehicle, I have to select the options that the manufacturer installed in this car. The greatest thing about the automated systems test is that it's asking or requesting all modules on the vehicle from bumper to bumper to communicate and tell if there's any codes already stored. What's important with this is we can find things that are tied together when it comes to diagnostics, such as the low battery setting communication codes. An automated systems test can take several minutes, anywhere between two minutes and possibly up to eight minutes, depending on the vehicle and how many modules the advantage of doing the automated systems test is that it will give you a comprehensive report that you can share with your customer of that vehicle and all modules. This comprehensive report, you can print it off, you can email it. To print it, you would need to send it to a wireless printer through your Google account. If you wanna send it as an email to yourself, that's the easiest. Select the share button at the top of the screen and select either a summary report or a detailed report. I'm going to select detailed report. It gives me the option to print web, 
to email. I'm going to select email. Here I can enter any information that I want, either to myself or to my customer, about the report. And touch the down button to get rid of the keyboard when you're finished. Select the send button, which looks like a paper airplane in the upper right corner. The information has been sent to my email account or I could send it directly to the customer. The report on your Evolve is actually an interactive report. When I see the code that's listed, if I touch on the code, it will automatically take me over to my diagnostic information. There's nothing listed in the tool for that code, but on the right hand side, you can see Identifix actually has a hit. If I touch on Identifix, it brings over the year, the make, the model of the car, and the code directly to Identifix to give me information to help me diagnose the car. By selecting the Home button, I go back to the home screen. We hope you found this video to be informative and helpful for setting up and understanding your Evolve basic functions. Remember, if you have any issues whatsoever, you can contact our tech support or visit us on otctools.com.